Albany police make uh, uh, policymakers, excuse me, Albany policymakers say that they are prioritizing the safety of their constituents and they're using newer technology to do it. WLB News 10's Gabrielle Tate tells us how the new flock safety cameras placed throughout the city will help solve crimes quicker and how you can contribute. The new day for crime, new day for crime solving, crime prevention. These tools are the cutting edge of technology. These are uh, tools that are not being deployed in many places. I mean, we're going to be the only one outside of Metro Atlanta and South Georgia that's deploying this level of, of technology, this level of cutting edge tools for our police officers. The flock safety cameras have been in full effect now for almost a month. According to WSB TV, Atlanta police officers have even been able to solve crimes like deadly hit and runs with the flock camera technology. They're based out of Georgia, they're based out of Atlanta, so they're somewhat of a local company. When you look at other cities in our state, like Cobb County, uh, the cities in Metro Atlanta, City of Atlanta, they're using flock, and so we just went with the most uh, reliable. Authorized law enforcement users are able to tap into the system and solve missing person and auto theft cases through license plate recognition. Money for this project is coming from a mixture of both the Red Speed camera funds and the commission's discretionary funds. Flock cameras are placed on poles throughout the city of Albany. And some poles, like this one right here, have both the flock safety cameras and the new gunshot detectors. Owners of places like private businesses and homes are also able to volunteer their personal camera footage to the police through a cloud-based software system called Fusis. Fusis is a uh, real-time crime center that is in the clouds. This is a, another way of en enhancing technology and putting it in the hands of, of all department personnel. System video is stored in a CJIS compliant vault. I'm told it's tightly controlled under FBI jurisdiction and that none of the footage is used for monitoring private civilian matters. Gabrielle Tate, WALB, your hometown news.